Welcome, dear viewers. Today, to our series Meaning of Life, we have another very special guest on the subject of the pineal gland, Elizabeth Vesterman. Your last videos have been very successful. That seems to be a very interesting topic for you, dear viewers. And today, we are again talking action about the possibilities of activation and that you can get a deeper insight and, above all, get the latest knowledge on this very, very great topic. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello. Nice to be back. I'm very happy too. Our last video about the pineal gland was really well received. Yes, it's just an important topic because the pineal gland is just important on various levels. First of all, because it is a coordinator of everything that happens in the body, similar to the atlas area, which is why it goes so well together. That's the main focus that I always had before. The atlas area, the first cervical vertebrae. And secondly, because it also enables us to remind ourselves again that we are independently thinking and perceiving beings. I think that's a very important point nowadays. It is, and it does that by connecting. Isn't that interesting? Within the body, that the various systems work well together again, rather than all of them, to work solitary for yourself. Don't we know that from somewhere else too? Yes, now is the time for connections. Very exciting, isn't it? They come together. So the pineal gland coordinates this connection. And last time I told you that the pineal gland connects with the heart intelligence. The heart also has nerve cells and with the so-called dantien, and in doing so, I disregarded the solar plexus, the unconscious brain. Because then, if you really want to get independence in thinking and feeling, well, I always call it a heartfelt thinking. Then you need to have the sensing what the solar plexus is giving you. Would that be gut feeling? The gut feeling. So these three aspects. And then there is this light organ in the lower abdomen, which I am allowed to see again and again as clairvoyant as I am in such areas, where the masculine and the feminine begin to unite. You can see it in the world, partly in these endeavors, to see how feminine and masculine are with each other. There are certainly still some things open where you could really look differently. But this feeling, it's about that the two sexes come together again in a harmonious way and on a par with each other. How can that happen? by first happening inside of us, so that we bring the masculine and feminine principle into harmony within us. Yes. And here too, the pineal gland is a leading force. And there are very different aspects. I also brought a short video, an experience from a client of mine, who tells what she experienced after the treatment of the pineal gland. And there you can see that too, that she just got more into harmony and at the same time more into her intuition. Then let's take a look at the video, dear viewers. When Lydia sang for me, I didn't know what to say at first, but then I noticed that it was very relaxing. And since then, I have been able to concentrate much better. And now I have much better grades in school. Elizabeth, these are nice testimonials that you bring with you. And how did you work with her? How did it go? Yes, so there are different aspects of how you can work. Of course, it is not enough to just do it once, sing a sound code and then the thing is done, because the pineal gland is really in a degenerative state in all of us. 
And it needs the support so that it can come back to full function. And one treatment is not enough, but one could have treatment as initiation ignition, so to speak. Then you can either get further treatments from the person who treated you, or go to my website where you can download a self-treatment package with videos and audios and music and everything so that you can work with yourself for a certain time because it needs some treatment so that the whole thing can then have a really deep effect and the redemption that one wishes for happens. And you can combine that in different ways. And if you have trained as a sound code therapist with me, I'll tell you about that in another interview, then as an advanced course, it would also be possible to work with others with it. These are the different possibilities. How do I feel how my pineal gland is working? Or in what state it is? What happens to people who start working with the pineal gland? So from the first session, I'll say to the third or the fifth, what kind of changes are happening on different levels? Now, I'll just tell you about myself. Yes, that's nice. In these times, which are not easy for all of us, I myself have every now and then phrase, phases where the despair or the anger reached me. And then there was something else that I did too. What then brought me to calm down a bit, I'll probably talk about it again, about the psychological coach, and then it just happened that I noticed little by little there is somehow an inner opening that I can't really put into words, an inner opening here. And you saw me last time, you're experiencing me now. I guess you also experienced that despite all the external pressure that we've all had for months now, more and more or more or less, depending on where we are at the moment, that I'm happy, that I'm fine that I simply have a different look, like an eagle's perspective. That doesn't mean that I'm going to swim away somewhere and say it's all so beautiful and I am now holy, haven't you seen my halo? No, not at all. But I can just see bigger connections. I can understand, I can grasp in a depth like never before. And that gives me back a piece of freedom. It gives me back a bit of lightness. It gives me a joy in life that I've never had before. So if I now, the studio is on Lake Constance, when I go out in the morning and I see this beautiful Lake Constance, last time I enjoyed it already, but I can really immerse myself in these colours and in this fog that lay over Lake Constance again this morning. Yes, yeah, so special this morning. Feeling it, entering it, and it's like I can really touch it. So the perception also deepens, expands, and at the same time a kind of stability grows that has nothing to do with an external stability, but it's this inner certainty. I am just now thinking of the new book by Christina Van Rijn, with the title in the end, All is Well. I would say more, All is Well now because everything is in guidance. We are step by step, each individual on their own path is guided step by step into a new perception, into a new consciousness, into a new independent way of thinking if we let ourselves be guided by these higher forces. So that's my experience, and I see it has to do with the pineal gland. And yes, there is always a bit of grace involved. 
Do you also have experience with people? I have to think about the many people right now who are really suffering from existential fears, don't know what to do next. There are a lot of people that are, they are lacking the basic sense of trust, logically, when everything collapses around you. And now you can really see what is happening in the countries. They would say now, well, how does this person get into harmony, even though there is such chaos on the outside? How should I describe that? It is a chaos, and yes, existences collapse completely. And at the same time, I am firmly convinced that there is a new path for every person. And when the pineal gland becomes active again, then the creative power wakes up again. Creativity is awakened again. And if you look closely, dear people, how many people are discovering new opportunities right now? It starts with the fact that I can hold a seminar on Zoom, so online, which I couldn't even imagine beforehand that this is even possible. I have a good friend who is doing it at the moment, Tommy Muller, so that's great, it works. Or that I just realized, okay, I no longer have these resources, but I can do it differently. And it's great what the possibilities are. We're thrown back on simplicity, but there are so many different options. That would be a nice moment to give the audience an impression of a sound code for the pineal gland. Absolutely. I promised that last time, and I'm sorry there just wasn't time to do it anymore, and that's why I told her to remind me of it. So I'm going to sing three sound codes. First of all, the one that gets the pineal gland out of this ossification a little. And it may be that you also feel it, feel it directly. You can also hear this video from time to time, or at least this part, then you already have a part of it. The other is the liberation of the heart. These are the two most essential factors. There is, of course, more to it. But then you already have a point, and then there's a final code, which then give support so that the whole thing continues to work in your systems. So, just close your eyes. There is nothing to see. I close my eyes too? Exactly. And just experience. Via Duca Via Duca Via Duca Via Duca Via Duca Via Duca, 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 Via Duca. Via Duca, Via Duca. Ay, 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 Ay om, ay om, ay om, ay om. Ah, when 
Awen, 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 awen. Nice. Do we still have time for your experience? You got the treatment? What happened to you spontaneously? Yes, we also did it through Zoom. And of course, I started my fasting cure at the same time. Was that afterwards? So you could say now that I really had the power and strength to decide for this cleansing and this detoxification and to say, OK, and it was incredibly easier for me. I really have to say that, stopping to eat really all these cleansing processes. I still had to cook for the kids and I didn't mind. And I've never fasted in my life and I thought, for God's sake, it's going to be a challenge, especially if you still have to cook. But it was, I made a very clear decision and got really into this flow. And I started. I'm still fasting. Look at her. I mean, it's amazing that she can even manage to work full-time here and is fasting pure water. Yes, I have to admit, in the first few days, I had strong detoxification processes. That's normal. Well, that wasn't easy, but I still pulled through, despite the fact that it really came with pain and body aches and headaches. I knew, no, I want to do this cleansing now. So I have to say very clearly, like you wrote it, come into harmony, get clarity, make clear decisions, empower yourself. So I can really confirm that. And these sound codes are part of the whole package to support it again so that it can wake up. Yes, nice. For someone who has never dealt with the pineal gland and now maybe says, well, that's all nonsense or humbug or whatever, or what is supposed to be stunted with it. Maybe you can say something about it again. What does that mean? Of course, I now know this subject is calcification and these stories from our interviews. And you have already told me that this calcification can also be dissolved in this way. But maybe you again describe the pineal gland itself and under which, let me say, attacks it has suffered over the last few decades. The pineal gland is usually still well developed in a small child and then regresses a little. Part of it has been a healthy process so far. But due to the pollution that comes from the environment, it has become particularly glaring. It starts with the fluoride which has been inve investigated from an alternative medicine point of view. It has an effect on the pineal gland to shut it down. Then it continues with all the pesticides, such as glyphosate, among other things, with the pollutants that are naturally, simply naturally, already in the air, in the water, and so on. Plus all the radiation we deal with, which is the side effect of the opportunities we have to connect communicatively like never before. All of this, of course, affects our overall system. And the pineal gland is, as you could say, the most spiritual organ we have. And accordingly, it is very sensitive about such things. And then the body protects it. That's my feeling through this layer. I mean, I'm really not a doctor, and doctors may well be pulling their hair out now. If they hear something like this now, some at least. But that's what the naturopaths and doctors told me. And if you start by at least a bit, 
staying away from the fluoridated water for a while, and maybe using fluoride-free toothpaste, and when you watch that you eat organic bread, where you know that the grain was simply not subject to pesticides, or at least not so extensively, you have already done a lot, but also a little where you have to do with radiation, that you can at least change them somehow. That too is something that simply comes out more and more now in the world. More and more people are researching how one can simply convert the forces, and there are also sound codes for that that these cell phone towers that also have something essential sounds very crazy, but there is nothing that doesn't have a life force, that they simply act and interact with us differently so that they don't give another disturbing energy into our system, but simply an energy that helps us to communicate well with each other. These are all things that you can do. And by the way, you can find a few helpers on my website, even for little money, for people who no longer have such a big budget. This is really something that everyone can afford. However, you then have to do a little something for yourself that you don't sometimes have to do with other systems. If you want to find out more about sound codes, are there sources of information? Yes, I have a website. It's called Dao, like Tao, only with D, daota.com. You can find a lot of information there. You can also gain experience by simply visiting the free events that are offered there. I now just like to support the systems of humans and animals all over the world during this time. I have now also given sound codes to Lake Constance when I was down there yesterday. That's why it looks so beautiful this morning. Maybe, yes, exactly. And there is also a channel, a Telegram channel. There is also a little flag on the website where you can just click on it, then you are automatically on my Telegram channel. It's called Codes of Joy. Now that I'm traveling, I won't be serving it every day, otherwise I'll usually do it. But here in Switzerland, it's a bit difficult for a German with the internet. <laughs> Good. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to more interviews with you. And it was a beautiful sound code, or the three of them were beautiful. Thank you for that too. With pleasure, with all my heart. See you soon. Dear viewers, you can find all the interviews that we also have on YouTube, on our website, qs24.tv, and also the deleted ones. And you can also look for the topics you like in the search bar. Whether you enter diseases or the favorite guests who are with us, you will find everything. You can also click a button that you will be reminded to follow this website that if somehow one or the other channel no longer work, that you are still optimally informed on our website. And thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.